Select the cell B11 in which formula equal to sum open bracket B4 colon B9 close bracket is written. Click on the copy button. Select C11. Click on the paste button. Note that C11 has the cell reference from C4 to C9 instead of B4 to B9. Okay students, an interesting fact. The easiest way to define names for cells is to click on the name box at the left end of formula bar. Type a name for the range and press enter. Now the second type of cell reference is absolute reference. Absolute reference is used when we do not want to change the address of the cell on copying the formula to another cell. To make absolute reference of a formula, add dollar sign before the column and row number. Equal to dollar a dollar one plus dollar a dollar two is an example of absolute reference. Students, we can quickly get the total of adjacent cells by pressing ALT plus equal key combination instead of clicking auto sum button. Let us calculate the incentive at the rate of 10% on monthly sales. Type 10% in the cell D1. Click on cell D4. Type B4 into dollar d dollar one and press the enter key the cell d4 displays the value hundred the first cell address has no dollar sign so it is relative reference and the second cell address is fully absolute Therefore, when the cell is copied, the first one will change the reference in the new location, but second will remain the same. That is $D, $1. Now copy the formula when the pointer changes to a copy pointer symbol. Drag the selected formula to the rest of the cells. Let us now quickly discuss the relative versus absolute cell reference. The third type of cell reference is mixed reference. It is a combination of relative and absolute reference. In this type of reference, either row or column has to remain fixed. $A1 plus A$2 is an example of mixed reference. For example, let us calculate the actual money expenses. Type 50 in cell D2. Click on cell E4. Type $C4 minus D$2. Press the enter key. You can calculate the actual expenses of other cells by dragging the mouse pointer to rest of the cells when pointer changes to a copy pointer symbol. Students, to calculate the sum of multiple cells that are not in a range, separate each cell address by comma. For example, equals to sum, bracket in, C4, C6, D8, bracket close. Let us now find out how to use a cell reference of another worksheet. You can use the cell reference of one worksheet in another worksheet. This can be done into two ways. The first is by using copy paste option. Click on the sheet to tab and enter the data as shown in the figure. Click on the sheet 1 tab. Now click on cell B11 where the sum function is used. Copy the formula using Ctrl plus C. Click on the sheet 2 tab and click on cell B11. Paste the formula using Ctrl V. The second way is by using sheet reference. It uses sheet number, 
exclamation mark and cell address. For example, sheet 1, D4. Let's try to use the sheet reference. Click on the cell C4 of sheet 2. Type B4 plus sheet 1. D4 to add the incentive amount of cell D4 of sheet 1 with salary of the cell B4 of sheet 2. Press the enter key. You can calculate the total salary for other cells by dragging the mouse pointer to rest of the cells when pointer changes to a copy pointer symbol. Now we shall learn how to name a sheet tab. By default, Excel displays three sheets in a worksheet named as Sheet 1, Sheet 2, and Sheet 3. But we can add as many sheets as we require. We can assign any name to these sheet tabs. Right-click on the Sheet 1 tab in the worksheet. A pop-up menu will appear. Click on the Rename option. The cursor will appear in Sheet 1 tab. Type KIPS and press the Enter key. Note that the name of the Sheet 1 has been changed to KIPS. Students, you know we can even change the color of a Sheet tab. Let us find out how this is done. Right click on the Sheet 1 tab and select Tab Color option from the shortcut menu. Select any color from the display choices and observe the change. Alright, let us now talk about functions. Functions are pre-designed formulas in Excel to perform simple and complex calculations. Functions eliminate the chance to write wrong formulas. They accept the arguments and return values. Arguments are input to functions which accept values as numbers or text, etc. The values are given with parentheses. Return values display the function output. Students, note the fact that the common functions like sum, average, count, numbers, max, minimum, can also be used using drop-down arrow of auto sum button. To use other functions, click on more functions option. Now, there are a few rules to enter a function. All Excel functions must begin with equal to sign. Function name must be a valid Excel name. For example, sum, average, Function name must be followed by opening and closing parenthesis. Parenthesis contains arguments within it. For example, sum A1 is to A5. Now we shall learn how to use the average function. Click on the cell where you want to place the average of values. Let us say E6. Type equal to sign. Type the function name average. Type the open parenthesis symbol. You want to calculate the average of values of the range C6 to D6. Click on the cell C6 to define the starting cell of the range. The cell address C6 will appear with parenthesis. Drag the mouse pointer to cell D6. Formula bar or the cell E6 will display equals to Average C6 is to D6. Type the closing parenthesis symbol, that is. Press the Enter key. The cell E6 will display the calculated result. Students, we can quickly copy the formula to all cells in the selected range by pressing F2 and then press Ctrl plus Enter key. Now, look at this table to look at the purposes of a new functions. The purpose of sum range is to give the sum of a range. The purpose of average range is to find the average of a range. 
Function ODD number returns number rounded up to the nearest odd integer. Function INT number rounds a number to the nearest integer. Function round number num underscore digit rounds a number to the specified rights. The function EXP number returns natural logarithm raised to the power of number. Function SQRT number returns to a square root. Function power number power returns the result of a number raised to power. And the function MOD number divisor return the remainder after a number is divided by the divisor. Let us now learn about a few common functions. The max function. This is used to find the largest value in the given range. Click on cell F4 and type equals to max B4 is to E4. And press the enter key. The maximum value in the range B4 is to E4 will be displayed in cell F4. Okay, a tip for you students. Min function and count function can also be applied in a range. Another function is today. It is used to display the current date. Type equal to today. Function in the cell and press the enter key. The total function will display the current date in the selected cell. Let me help you with a few tip students. Day, month, year. Function can be applied on a cell. Sometimes Excel may not be able to recognize the date you are specifying and may give value error. To overcome this problem, click on Start then Control Panel and choose Region and Language Options and set the options according to your requirements. Let us quickly glance through the key points discussed in this chapter. Formulas are used to perform calculations involving addition, subtraction, division and multiplication. Range is a rectangular area consisting of a group of cells adjacent to each other. It can be an entire worksheet as well. The cell address in the formula is known as cell reference. There are three types of cell references, relative, absolute and mixed. You can assign multiple cells to a formula by creating a reference or a range. Functions are pre-designed formulas in Excel to perform simple and complex calculations.